it's Stella from Mipul University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for City of Crowns expansion of Paladins of the West Kingdom from Garfield Games. <sighs> Phew, those attacks! Do you continue or should you now negotiate and muster enough support to defend our borders? The choice is yours. The expansion, as with the base game, plays one to four players. So, what's new in City of Crowns? Well, I'm glad you asked. I assume you are familiar with Paladins, the base game. I'll show you the main things in this expansion. It adds Outsider, Town Fox, King's Order and Favor cards and Paladin cards to the collection to allow the extra mechanics to shine. Now with 4 more Paladin cards added to your deck, place draw 4 instead of 3 at the start of each round. Still one to play, one for the top of the deck and one to the bottom of the deck. And the fourth one? You trash from the game. Yup, no turning back. You also get your own personal King's Order card as personal objective. There's an extra space on the common board, so now you reveal more attack and convert cards and more bonus slots to place your monks and outposts. And the major thing is the extension on your player board and on common area that gives you more options, master and negotiate. On the common board, master gives you more slots to place your workers to gain the benefit. As we know, resources at times is really tough in paladins. On your board, Master will cost you workers, then proficiency to move the Diplomat on the common board to another slot. You need to meet the attributes requirement, then take the card including worker on it if any. Get the bonus, including moving up your new Diplomacy attributes. Then at the end of the game, it is worth 1 point per 2 cards you collected. Next is the negotiate action on your play board. There are two options when you assign your workers here. One is to entrust, which is this symbol. You look at the top part of negotiate cards available on common area, have the required grey or diplomacy attributes, pay the coins or debt, and execute the action here. This is simply replaces another action on your play board with added attributes without having to pay the usual cost. Like this one, as if you do absolve action, but you don't pay the coins cost required. Nice, right? Gives you another way to do the same action twice, boost your attributes, get other bonuses even. And last but not least, the other main mechanic is enlist, basically looking to collect nobles for your cause, and hence set collection. You place your workers on your player board, look for this symbol on the bottom part of negotiate cards in the common area. You need to meet the attributes requirement here, pay the cost, then take the card to do set collection. You generalize to gain the points listed here, plus if you specialize, you gain one of four ally cards with the same symbol, gain the immediate bonus and ongoing bonus of a type of worker each round. You see, these extra actions help us in our game with our combo puzzle. I can see this combo puzzle as a very important part of Hedrian's war game as well, another Garfield Games game. You are trying to chain your actions together, gaining resources, workers and points as much as you can. The master and negotiate actions help with doing the same action again other than the praying action. We are also glad that there are more valuable outsider cards options, because towards the end, those cards were gone like hotcakes. The personal objective card helps to draw everyone away from completing the same goals, and overall it gives us more path to score points, hence the victory. Solo players also enjoy some new additions to Paladins. I think now that there is this expansion, I'll never play Paladins without City of Crowns. So thanks for watching folks, check out City of Crowns expansion on Kickstarter, I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Meeple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I will see you there too. Until next time!